Hi, it's really a challenge to find the best products that can be deserving of your hard-earned money. It may be easier when you have a reliable source like our channel. Actually, our team reviewed a lot of products, analyzed endless reviews from the actual users, and made our rankings based on many factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and the reputation of the manufacturer. If you choose from this list, you can be sure that you're buying one of the best products. You can see their latest prices and find out more information about these products by using the links below in the description. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Are you looking for the best hand saws in your budget? Well, in today's video we break down the top 5 best hand saws. Starting at number 5, we have the Silky Zubat Arborist Professional Handsaw. When it comes to cutting limbs and branches like an arborist, silky saws have a great reputation. After weeks of testing, our testers are especially fond of the Silky Zubat Arborist 330, not only for its sawing capabilities but also its portability for trails and backcountry use. Beyond just being an impressive blade, this saw comes with a lightweight sheath for easy transportation. The sheath includes a detachable belt look that you can conveniently unclip and reattach as needed. It also sports an innovative locking mechanism to keep the blade from falling out when scaling trees or swashbuckling shrubs. The scabbard is a nice complement, but the blade of the Zubat deserves the spotlight. It's perfectly balanced, razor sharp, makes clean cuts with surgical precision, and has an undeniable tenacity to it. The speed and quality of the cuts often competed with those of the Japanese pull saws in our tests. It's a simple setup that doesn't feel like it lacks anything. Just holding it, we feel confident in its capability. Although the angle of the blade makes it harder to saw milled lumber, the Zubat held up remarkably well, outside of occasionally binding in softwoods. We notice the cuts are far chewier than what you want out of a workshop saw, but we attribute this to the difference between live wood and lumber. The main shortcoming here is the high price. This isn't the blade you want for your workshop, but if you're an arborist, trail builder, or searching for a prime outdoor saw, this model is our top recommendation. Moving on at number 4. We have the Gokucho 7 inches Razor Ryoba Saw. The Gokucho 7 inches Razor Ryoba Saw is a woodworker's handsaw designed to handle detail work and intricate cuts like dovetails. Perfectly balanced with a 0.5mm blade, the Gokucho is super maneuverable, making it easier to hit cuts at nearly any angle. It feels like a natural extension of your arm, switching between cross cuts and rip cuts with a quick flick of the wrist. The rubberized handle is a nice touch and ensures a no-slip grip while cutting. Compared to other Japanese handsaws that can be rather large, the Gokucho's small size takes up minimal room on your workbench where space may already be in rare supply. Like most Japanese pull saws, it is double-edged, with the teeth for cross-cutting, across the grain, on one edge and teeth for rip cuts, along the grain, on the other edge. The biggest drawback of the Gokucho, and all pull saws, is that they'll always have a higher stroke count due to the blade's nature. Pull saws only cut on your pull stroke, so theoretically, it will take around twice as many strokes as a traditional western saw to make the same cut. But what you lose in speed, you make up for in accuracy and cut quality. The Gokucho isn't going to be the only saw in your workshop, but if you plan on doing any fine woodworking, this model is a must-have. At number 3, we have the Suizen Dovetail Handsaw. As a back saw, it has a reinforcing ridge that lines the back edge of the saw. This allows for a thinner blade to be used without bending or binding during cutting. Furthermore, this model uses premium Japanese steel that is much more resilient to wear and damage than cheaper alternatives. It's also worth noting that replacement blades are available from the manufacturer, which means you'll be able to use this saw for years. The handle is a staple of Japanese craftsmanship. It is another premium offering, so it's not the most cost-effective model on the market, nor are the replacement blades. However, this is something to expect with such a high-level tool. At number 2, we have the Craftsman 12-inch Hacksaw. This saw's solid metal construction offers one-to-mount blades with high tension for optimal performance. It also provides 180-degree blade adjustment for making flush cuts. Despite the solid metal frame, a large comfortable grip is featured on the rear end to promote total control over the blade. Like most hacksaws, it does feature a tension knob for making quick adjustments to the blade. What separates it from many others is the size and shape. 
This knob is very comfortable to operate and won't cause any strain on the fingers. And because it is large, setting higher tensions requires a little less effort than some others. One major disadvantage of this model is the lack of a forward-mounted grip. Without this feature, control is sacrificed, and grabbing the front of the hacksaw can result in injury. And finally at number 1, we have the Suizen Japanese 9.5-inch Ryoba. The Japanese are known for creating what is commonly referred to as the pull saw. By relying on the pull of the saw instead of pushing the blade, cuts are easier to start and come out cleaner. This saw has a 2-in-1 blade with a cross cut on one side and a rip cut on the other, giving you the ability to accurately and easily cut hardwood and softwood. Some of the benefits of this saw are the lighter weight and narrower kerf. The cane-wrapped handle and sharp, thin blade make this truly unique saw must-have. Whether you are a master at making handmade furniture or are a beginner do-it-yourselfer, this saw will diversify your toolbox and undoubtedly make your cuts smoother. This particular model is on the more expensive end of options that are available. However, this is not much of a drawback considering the level of performance it brings to the table. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make a sure like, comment, subscribe.